Here it is again, <laughs> my little gray streak and all, gray streak and all. I did my bangs a little bit better today, so winning. Yes. I literally watched Charlie Sheen say, I was watching it live. And to be honest with you, I will tell you my lip combo in a second. To be honest with you, there is three purses in this all. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, and three. Oh, one, two, and three. So, and a change purse because one of the managers, one of my absolute faves, so that I get to see. Literally, that's all you have to do to get me to buy something is like show me that you like it and you thought of me when you saw it and that you think I should have it. So, um, before I do though, I'm trying to get in the habit of sharing my lip combo of the day. It's pretty much always like a whatever this is, new. I don't know if I would call it nude. What are we calling things now? With the strawberry and blueberry. What are we doing? Coffee makeup. Strawberry milk makeup. It's a brown smoky eye. Mm hmm. But that's okay. I love to switch it up and name things and like. So this is my pumpkin spice lip combo. <laughs> um, it really is though. Okay, the lip liner is a Huda Beauty lip contour in Trendsetter. And, the, and I just put this in the middle and go. I don't do that. I actually like rub it together. 
them and this is wet and wild cloud pout in buffer nutter it's my favorite i love it so much and it tastes like a Marshmallow Lip Mousse. I got this at Five Below. I got this from Sephora, I think. And a favorite part of it. I dropped this little gold cap. And it made a noise. It's the Victoria's Secret Pumpkin Spice Flavored Lip Gloss. Oh, a lot, huh? Mm hmm that was kind of a lot. Too much. But it tastes really good. It tastes like pumpkin spice. I will say... I'm such a whore. A whore. cheap lip glosses. I think they make tingly sounds, but like they're just very nostalgic to me. Look at that little white pumpkin. Okay, anyways. Of course, somebody just started mowing their lawn. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? So, I'm not even getting you bestie, but the second I started showing the first item, somebody started mowing their lawn. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do, you know? Um, I've, it's, it's been like a while, but um, it is what it is, you know? The makeup is melting. I ran out really quick. It just, it is what it is, and we're gonna keep going so that um, I can actually get a video up for you guys and not go without one for two weeks or something. just so sweet a couple weeks back when I popped in there. Um, hi Pamela. She's commenting me an idea on I think she was on a ladder and she was hanging these up and it just got them in the mail. Um, showed me and of course I had to buy it. <laughs> um, and I'll show you why. You're gonna judge me. It's gonna be so funny. But I think this is so cute.
just want to live inside fall and Halloween. The way it makes me feel inside. Looks like that there. And I think would be too much latched to it because it doesn't quite match. This is called, it's so funny because this is called a pumpkin heart eyes coin purse. Her eyes wear. And just so you know, I'm not crazy. Well, I am, but pumpkin less than three eyes. Sweetie, what? Should we have a supper moment? I feel like you have to be delicate. Which I so am. With zippers. When you're doing ASMR, anyway. Or usually, like, living as well and utilizing them as tools. It pisses me off when like a zipper keeps on zipping. It doesn't like stop. Like on a hoodie or something. It's like I, I did not sign up to be um, like a zipper configurer or to like have to String it back through. No, I no, surely did not. It's Halloween now. Rest. You've made it to Halloween. So this. I'm not sure which though. Okay, next up I will show you why I bought the pumpkin hard eyes backpack is because I did a ship to store order of this a pumpkin jack-o'-lantern crossbody. It's such a good size. Like that is than my head <laughs> and it's, it's a whole story so let me take the plastic off let me take the plastic off let me take the plastic and the plastic the plastic plastic stick, stick. that I saw somebody see in their store on TikTok and they were kind of like taking their phone around their local hot topic and being like look at all the cool Halloween stuff and this purse and the next purse I'm gonna show you I just died and I was like I need that I feel like it's gonna sell out big time and I'm a dumbass long story short but I did I went ahead and 
store because I thought, like in capitalist America, that for some reason that would ship faster than to my house. And lo and behold, it did not, it did not. Um, two of my items shipped immediately and was at the store. They were at the store within like maybe three days. Is, is somebody daring to mow their lawn? Like, did they, like, catch a whiff? You've got to be actually shitting me that somebody heard somebody else mowing their lawn and now they're mowing their lawn. We're just going to roll with it, bestie. And I've got the rain and thunderstorm ambiance going. Okay, bestie, we're just gonna roll with this. There have been a million interruptions lately when I film, because if you didn't know, there's apartment complexes being built right behind our fence line. Like, literally four feet past the fence line. They just started blasting recently. Somebody on a dirt bike, aka your boyfriend, likes to ride through the construction zone in our neighborhood. And now everyone and their neighbor has decided to mow and like leaf blow and all kinds of cool things. So we've got the rain ambiance going. We've got the gain is somewhat turned down. And um, we're just going to do our best to power through because if not, I'll never be able to film and post a video. And I am just really hard on myself and the quality sound and stuff anyways. But anyways, this item and the purse I'll show you next shipped uh, long after the other two items. It was four total in the order. So, uh, funny enough, I was in the store to pick up the first two items from my order. And this is just like, I don't know if Mercury forgot to come out of retrograde or, or what's going on, really. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but this and like four others of it were on the shelves. On the shelves in stores. And I'm like, I'm not gonna buy it because I'm waiting on it. There it is, the experience I wanted. The experience I wanted in the store. There it was. And it's like, I should have just waited. I go there so much that I should have known. I wouldn't miss out. But <laughs> they came and went, and my order still wasn't here. But then it did finally come. And funnily enough, I may or may not have found a cuter version of this at TJ Maxx. But that aspect of the story is for another day, another day, another day, another dollar. Um, and I'm going to compare both in a video, size, quality. And we can vote on if I should keep both, keep a one, sell the other on Mercari. Like, we can, we can do whatever you truly say. Um, I did want to show you is here cleaning his toes his little fingies mm -hmm. he's trying um <laughs> I'm not trying to ruin the ASMR vibes but funny thing about Beast and you probably guessed this is he does not cover his situations in the litter box he tries. He has no idea what's going on. He didn't grow up like that. Grew up just doing what he needed to do and going about life, truly. Um, Belle did not grow up that way, and she does not appreciate it. And that is why we have a litter robot. The 
it yet you're like what does he do i'm like sometimes he hits litter but mostly he likes just scratches the side of the litter robot it's like an oval kind of looks like a spaceship or something um but yeah he'll be like so the ceiling and he treats he's really trying to like he's like He doesn't know. He doesn't get it. Um, this is a little $16 Evie Halloween passport satchel. They left off the final word. And it says 9 Evie Halloween passport. It's just a little bio. But, um, it says sixteen ninety. I feel like it was twelve ninety on, on the website. And it's just got a top zipper and a front zipper pouch. I love Evie. Um, if you're into TikTok, and if you're not, Don't get this trash. It 
served a funeral flower. It's not good, bestie. Now these I will probably use as my very next nails. I know I say that about every nail I get and suck it. Like, I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. <laughs> but these are just so cute. Also, not topic. These were nine They're just different Halloween vibes. Look at this one. is black with a pink spider web and a heart. There's an airplane that I just simply cannot deal with or my brain will explode. This is like a black drip with a, a black heart. me, but they were always on TV um, when I was growing up. Oh, yeah. Okay. I did not mean to make it out with this, so I'll bring it back to my Hot Topic store. Maybe. <laughs> and if you see this, no, you didn't. But, um, yeah, I accidentally took the clip, the store's clip. <laughs> you rang me up. You rang, you rang me up. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll bring it back. They've got a lock of my hair, so I do have to bring it back. Does anyone else's hot topic store? collect locks of customers' hairs and display them proudly on a hair wall. No. Well, that's your loss, isn't it? This is my new pumpkin anchor. It's so cute and it was so funny trying to explain this to Thomas. He was like, no, what is that exactly? And I was like, I Of what now? And I was like, you know, like, like a little anger chief. And he was like, he literally said, for a shirt, is it a, is it a top? Because I have so many tops <laughs> that are literally this shape. And I like to sew tops that are in this shape. So I have a couple of like tie tops that I made during the pandemic. I was gonna sell them on Etsy at one point, but I But the way I was able to explain it then, that I was like, 
It's kind of like you wear it on your head. It's kind of like Handmaid's Tale, but like Southern. <laughs> Not a good way to explain anything. But I simply love it. It's so sweet. I do have a couple of these now. You're probably thinking like, oh, you already have a black one with red and white mushrooms on it. It's like, yeah. They're a family. That one needed this one as a friend. Okay. This I am really excited about. It's a Nightmare Before Christmas lip oil set. And it's one of the four items I ordered. Oh, no. The jack-o'-lantern actual purse, the Evie bag, and then these lip oils and a Mickey Mouse Disney cup were the four items in my online order. My hauls are always multiple shopping trips, by the way. I don't want anybody to feel like I am just going in. Now, during hot cash, that's a different story because everything's 50% off. Hot cash is truly, truly my time. Red six leg and blue one leg. That's, that's the chemicals I like to see, baby. store. I think it's, it's still Nightmare Before Christmas, but like these were, it was like this big beautiful display and it was like, oh my gosh, you know, like something for Tom, something for me. Um, but I had already ordered this, so I wanted to get him the cologne. And yeah, just don't get the cologne, but I feel like you really, ooh, don't need to buy this lip oil. <laughs> I don't know if that worked, but if it did, that'd be hilarious. You definitely, like, not all of this was bought at one time, and you definitely, you don't need any of it. And you definitely don't need to go get yourself a pumpkin spice latte while you listen to this video. <laughs> it's a new TikTok trend. again.
I've got three items left to show you. This is not Halloween bestie. I just saw it and I don't know what it is. It's a mental issue for sure, like a mental defect. But this is a little one kawaii capybara. And when I tell you, but a mere millisecond before reading this tag, I was gonna be like, yeah, this is like a strawberry wearing chupacabra hat. And I don't know, I thought it was cute and I needed it. Just like a little strawberry chupacabra. What? It's, uh, my brain, dude. Like, this is a capybara. Still don't know what that is. Don't know why I needed it. Capybara tassel beanie. I didn't. That's the thing. That's the thing about it. Like, I just... this is its tail or its hair or just just a bonus braid really but beast is almost asleep so we know we have done our job and i'm now to the second to last item and this is the fourth item i know i've got you doing like the matrix and final item of the online order and the rest of the items were purchased yes I'm sticking the tape on the headboard don't worry about me worry about you worry about me worry about you don't worry about me worry about you we love gonna cut off their food source we're gonna cut off their habitat we're good and it's like are you though because like I know there's rats as big as groundhogs in New York City you know as big as a little mini croc definitely as big as big mouth Billy the bass you know the one that people hang on Right. The po the point was well made, bestie. Thank you. That there are just there's some big ass rats up there, and I feel like they're gonna find a food source, even if it's you. They're gonna they're so think twice. Because you'll wake up to, to no hair, to like a Betsy Johnson haircut. And I say that with love because Betsy Johnson has a beautiful fashion mind. <laughs> but her hair is wild. So I just think, I just think, don't worry about the rats. Um, I also, in, in much more exciting and positive news. Lil Wayne. Yes, Lil Wayne put out a new song called Cat Food and it's spelled K-A-T, cat with a K. And 
it is all I have listened to all week, weekend, since it came out. It is the, oh my gosh, it's just like, nobody does bops like him. It's so good. It's like in my brain. not, not bad. I will take it. Um, I can't stand, like, this is one of the worst parts of being a human. In addition to, like, rent and taxes and water and food and air costing money. Um, is, is having to peel stickers off, you know, of, like, an item you bought. And it's, like, is, is the remnants and the glue, is that here to punish me? Anyway, that was a good one. And so, am I like a big whore for Mickey and Disney? Love Disney, not Disney World. M Mickey's the mouse, I could give a shit, you know? But this is super cute. This is so freaking cute. Because it's kind of like he's being like, oh, bye, bitches. And he's going to like put this skull mask down. Fuck shit up. I don't know. He's clearly just going to go trick-or-treating. But a girl can dream. Maybe he's like oh, going to go on like a Kurt spree. Like the spree movie. I don't know. But I love that. decorated my Dreamlight Valley to have a whole Halloween section. And I have a bunch of these little Mickey jack-o'-lanterns in it. I need to like hurry, you guys. This video is never going to export. My phone is gonna be like, get actually real. The last item is this super cute and it is a vampire bat teddy bear. So my favorite thing about this is that it kind of looks like a mix between a bat and a teddy bear. Um, and it is also called NLC Spooky Bat Bear Plush Mini Backpack. And his head is what unzips and you can only fit stuff in the head. Keep that in mind when you buy stuff like this. You're just buying it for like the vibes and the cuteness. But I just love him. Like I love that his neck is bleeding. Like he got bit and turned into a vampire. And then I love the little like blood drop details on the D's. Like there's a little drop. Oh maybe. Yeah I don't know. It's like a pure mystery. Isn't that so fun for you to hear in an ASMR video? I'm sorry. But my favorite part is that it's like really nice embroidery. Love the ears and the wings are just like a glittery, glittery, glittery. And he was I think rightly so for the level of detail. But let me know which item was your favorite bestie. I know this has been like a long, but it has felt really short to me because um, I never shut up. I don't know. <laughs>